I'm joined today with Merwin Kirkwood with the Power of the Pass Antique and Tractor Show that's coming to town in a couple of days, actually. We're right around the corner, actually. So let's talk a little bit about what this show is. Okay. The Power of the Past is an antique tractor and engine show that, uh, that puts on a show every year down in Ottawa, Kansas at beautiful Forest Park. And uh, we're into preserving the history of farming and uh, we do all kinds of demonstrations. And it's a, it's a great club. We do a lot of things in the community, help mm -hmm. Hope House, which is a outfit that helps uh, less fortunate, fortunate people in, in the community. And uh, the club takes tractors to nursing homes, rest homes, so the folks can see tractors. And we just have a good time. So you're having lots of fun while doing things to, for a great cause, which you bet. is awesome. You bet. Now, I'm looking at a whole list of activities that you guys have going on, and there's just so many. Which ones are you excited for? Because there's a lot of interesting ones. Well, there are a lot of things. It's family-oriented. There's things for the children to do. Uh, there's things for the adults. And it's a, it's a connection to the past history of farming. Uh, old tractors, old demonstrations. Um, there's, there's dozens of demonstrations. There's threshing, there's rope making, there's corn silage blowing, there's a cider press, there's sawmills. A cider press, oh, that's yeah. exciting. Everything runs all day long. There's demonstrations all day long. There's uh, activities for the children. Mm -hmm. There's a pedal tractor pull and a garden tractor pull uh, that anybody can get in on. We have a huge flea market and vendor market. There we go. For everybody to wander through and find some goodies to take home. Um, admission is $5 okay. all day, all weekend. Uh, 12 and under is free. Oh, that's that's a good deal. So for five dollars, you get all that stuff, and then if you're under the age of twelve, it's free. Right. So you get to go to the cider press, do all those demonstrations, and right. see some of the tractors. Now, last year you guys had thousands of people show up. So that was a big. I think it was over four thousand. I believe it was. Yes. You know, and how great is it to see the community bring out their families and kind of get a taste of what you guys thrive for? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's it's great. The people love it. Um, it's great the merchants in uh, Ottawa and in the surrounding area donate things to the club and we have an auction. So you can go and bid on food items or uh, okay. merchandise items. Yeah. So that's great for the people to get involved with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And just to remind everyone the dates and times that they can go. The dates this year are the 8th, 9th, and 10th of September. Mm -hmm. And it opens at seven o'clock in the morning and it goes till dark. So there's plenty of things to do. There's food trucks, so you won't oh, go hungry. Oh, great, okay. And there's always homemade ice cream. Oh, stop, I'm gonna have to go check it out. Yep. I'm a sucker for ice cream, there you go. What a good note to end on. <laughs> and there, there's golf cart rentals. If you, if you need a golf cart to get around the grounds, uh -huh. you can rent golf carts. And there's trams that are pulled by tractors, so you can get on and off anywhere in the park. Yeah, so you don't have to walk as much, or if you have right. lots of kids, it's just easier, you know, and you have more time to explore different places than walking. So you there bet. we go, perfect. You bet. Alrighty, well, so definitely mark your calendars. And we'll be right back after this. 